Hi there. On this episode of Hit the Mahogany, we're going to be doing a, a martini. Uh, not a regular martini, though. We're going to be doing a, a dirty martini. And uh, this one, I'm actually going to be using vodka. I happen to like vodka in this one. Uh, you can use gin if you want to. Uh, but I, uh, yeah, I quite like the Tito's in this one as well. Uh, something you can usually usually get out of a bar, you know, so pretty easy to get your hands on. Uh, we'll talk about uh, a, a, a little bit about the dirty part of this one actually, but uh, you know what, let's just start making this one straight away here. This, uh, I'm just going to be making one of these, uh, maybe another one later on, but uh, let's start with this one. So uh, we're going to be doing a uh, two and a half ounces of uh, vodka. Uh, there we go, maybe just a little bit more. That's it. And now it is dry martini that we're going to be using in this one. I've got the Noali Pratt for this one. Anything will do, you know, whatever you've got in the cupboard, you know, you can use it, but uh, you know, if you happen to have a, you know, a, what are the other ones that we're doing here? Yeah, I've got martini, a couple of other different ones. Whatever, you know, whatever you've got there. This is only a half ounce. Now, dry vermouth is actually, it's pretty strong flavour to it. Uh, so it just gives a nice touch to it, you know. It does uh, freshen it up, dries it out a little bit. Again, it's good with the uh, good with the gin in there as well. Now, the dirty bit of this. The question is, what is it that goes into this? And really, it's, it's olive brine that you've got going into this. And... Uh, you know, when I go out there, somebody asks, you know, how dirty do you like it? You know, it's like, ah, you know what, I'll have it filthy. But it's like almost, you know, sometimes when you think about it, it's like dirty. Uh, you know what, I just need it dirty enough that it's going to maybe make a, maybe make a nun blush or something like that. If you want a little bit dirtier, maybe you get to the point where it's like uh, you're watching the TV and uh, maybe a scene comes on the television and you're with your parents and it's you're uncomfortable. It's probably the next level of dirtiness. And then the, the last level is probably something where, uh, you know what, so dirty you're actually going to need a safe word. Uh, and I think the safe word for this one is going to be olive, you know. But uh, here, we're going to use just, uh, I'm actually just going to use the brine out of this. I think you can get brine, uh, olive brine itself. Generally what happens you find is you actually get through the brine quicker than you do the olives, which is a shame, you know what, then you're just going to have to eat the olives. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put half an ounce into this. And that's just, that's probably about right for what you're looking for, just for a regular dirty. You can try whatever you want in here, but remember, you can't take it out, you can only put more in. So start off with less first of all, and then add more as you actually do, okay? And that's it, that's it. Uh, now, we're just going to chill this one down, dilute it a little bit as well. As you can tell here, there's not much but actual just booze in it, you know? So, uh, get some ice into this. Give this a little bit of a stir and uh, get this chilled down. Now the uh, you'll see the olives that you usually get. They've got uh, pimento in the centre of them, which is uh, this stuff here. Now pimento is actually just like a a, 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 ch a, a, a cherry pepper, so it's not that hot. A little bit sweeter, you know. Uh, if you happen to be a, a vegetarian, though, you need to be careful because a lot of the big manufacturers, what they actually do is they mash up the pimento and then they make uh, gelatin and they mix it in with gelatin and then they cut that into strips and as part of the machine that does the uh, the, uh, the, the de-pitting or the pitting of them and then uh, the filling then it's, it's easier for them to just use some kind of gelatin with pimento flavouring in it so if you don't like it then uh, you know what, you can get rid of it, okay? There's not really too much flavour to it. It's meant to make it taste a little bit better, you know, when you're actually eating the, the olives, but uh, you know what? They're olives. You either hate them or you love them. If you've never tried them, seriously give them a shot though. Uh, and it adds a little bit of uh, good flavour to this. Now what's, what's interesting about this is that uh, the reason I like this is when you're actually going through, you know, you're having a few drinks, you always want a salty snack at some point as well. And you know what? The salt was included in this drink. What else could you ask for, you know? It's excellent. All right, let's get this in here. We've got it chilled down. Now, as you know, there's it's mostly booze that's in this one here. If you want this to last a little bit longer, what you can do is if you want, just drop a couple of bits of ice in that just to keep it going on longer. All right, garnish, olives. 
mental, whether you like it or not, it's in there. And that is it. Ah, no, 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 that's in it. This is not it, that's for sure. I can tell you that. I like these olives, definitely. Mmm. I mentioned a salty snack as well. You know what? You need to crank this up a little bit. And uh, these are a couple that I prepared earlier. These are slightly larger olives. These are stuffed with blue cheese. Yep. I'm now getting to hit the extremes of everything. Number one, you got something pretty vanilla vodka, some extra dry martini. Uh, extra dry martini. Extra dry vermouth. You got olives. People love or hate olives. Now I'm throwing blue cheese into that as well, and people hate or love blue cheese. Come on. You know what? This is a salty snack. It really is. It's booze and salt and something extra as a, as a bonus. All right. Let's give this one a wee taste. Cheers. Oh. Big hit kick. You're still getting the vodka coming, coming through there, you know, it's strong. Vermouth just adds a nice, nice bit of fruitiness to it without taking away from the flavour of the vodka. And the vodka itself, Tito's, nice smooth flavour to it. And then you have the salt of the all of the brine going in there as well. What more could you ask for? Now, of course, you're not going to taste the blue cheese in these, but you know what? This is part of your snack as well. Let's go for one of these. Oh my goodness. That and a drink. Swill this down a little bit. Oh my goodness. Those you can drink for the whole night. Alright. That's it. Your dirty martini, your filthy martini, your running naked through the streets martini, whatever you like, you know. That's it. Enjoy your martinis. See you the next time, okay? Cheers.